Hello Aries and welcome back to my channel Luma Moon Tarot. So Aries, I'm here to check into your energy and love, right? Let's look into your love life Aries and see what's going on. <laughs> this reading is for the collective so it may not resonate with all of you, okay? Um, just take what does resonate Aries, leave the rest. You guys know the drill on that. And thank you so much everyone. Ooh Aries, new beginning or a lump sum of money coming towards you thank you aries so much for all of your support um the likes subscribes comments everything that you guys do um out here to show the love right i love you guys right back all right so divine what do you have for aries love messages for aries ooh, ooh aries um, I feel like somebody wants to come back around here. You know, as soon as I looked at the moon, I'm feeling anywhere from now to the next full moon, okay? That's like, it's almost like it feels like a window. From now to the next full moon, which is on May 5th, all right? Um, and yeah, the masculine energies now, um, Mars is in Leo, and I feel like that Mars to me stands for the masculine energy. Venus to me stands for the feminine energy, okay? And with Mars in Leo, this person is, I feel like they want to take charge. They want to take charge of their own life. The Leos, you know, they're leaders, man. They, they'll um, they persevere too. They go after the things that they want. And with this person getting that energy of Leo right now, um, I feel like they're about to come forward. All right. So, and um, I really felt that um, full moon energy coming up here May 5th. So, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, look at you. You're out here, man. Um, you're out here very independent, very successful. Um, you're a single person here. You've been betrayed by this person, and I feel like, you know what? For some of you, they could have put you through so much, you may not know how to trust other people. You know what I mean? I feel like you're happy being single right now, Aries, and just doing you, enjoying your life getting out there in the sunshine, working on your abundance, um, putting in a lot of work into yourself. And I feel like, um, yeah, you may even, when this person comes forward to talk to you, because that's what they're about to do, this, this masculine here, they're in a lot of regret for turning their back on you, and they're about to come forward and try to make something right, okay? Um, but you, yeah, you may even tell this person, you know what, I'm enjoying myself being single. This could also be, um, this could also be something, you know, this information, this text message kind of comes in from out of the blue, okay? Um, so this is going to be something very sudden, like sudden communication from your person. Yeah, they're very burdened because they know they missed out on an empress who is now on a glow up. Okay, and um, in the public eye. That's really the feeling that I'm getting. You're in, you're on a major glow up here. Like you're glowing up really fast too. Um, yeah, reaping the rewards of, of, all of the seeds that you planted in the past. Really working on your own empire here, living a lavish, comfortable life. Some of you could be going on a vacation here. Or um, there's some kind of party get together maybe that you're, you're posting pictures of online. That could be it too. You're going out with friends maybe looking beautiful, gorgeous. Um, and you put those pictures online. It's something that they could be seeing you do here. Um, or whatever social media you have, it's making this person feel very burdened. I feel like you're just enjoying your single life here, okay? Doing you, Aries. And this person doesn't want to let you go now. Oh, they don't want to let you go now. <sighs> you could be going on dates here. Um, definitely attracting attention to yourself um, just by being you, okay? I feel Aries, there's, a, you know, 
for a while you were putting in a lot of work and now you're like enjoying the fruits of your labor is really what I want to say. You're enjoying the fruits of your labor and I feel like you're, um, you're enjoying your life. You're happy without this person and they can clearly see it. Like, this is really bothering them, but the scales are being balanced here. I feel like um, here comes an apology, okay, from this person. A lot of communication. They can't bear it anymore, man. They can't watch you be out here gorgeous, successful, happy, and glowing without them. Um, they may have another uh, person on the side here. I, they've, they're with somebody else. They chose someone else over you. And I feel like um, this could be somebody very good looking, very attractive, very passionate. All right. Could be a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius that they've been with. But I feel like, um, yeah, I, I'm just getting that this person isn't leaving them alone. All this, all this masculine wants to do now is come towards you and apologize and whoever they chose over you is not leaving them alone. This is somebody who's a schemer, somebody who maybe they've talked about you behind your back with, um, somebody that I feel like is just kind of not a good person. They're they're not leaving this person, your person alone. You could be dealing with a you could your person could be a Virgo, um, Pisces, Scorpio. Maybe a Libra. They could have even gotten someone pregnant here, but that's not what I'm feeling. I just feel like there's a Queen of Wands that's now chasing after your person, blowing up their phone, um, maybe wanting some kind of revenge because your person's sort of trying to ghost them here, okay? I feel like they're trying to ghost this other person that's on the side, and... Uh, this Queen of Wands isn't having it. I feel like she's stalking them. Yeah, as, as the Ace of Swords comes out. Yeah, she's stalking them. Um, watching everything that they're doing. Following them in a car. Um, sitting out, outside their work. Sitting outside their house. Calling their phone 50 gazillion times a day. Um, yeah, this is somebody who, um, they can't go. She's not going to allow this person to ghost her, you know, but I feel like this is a masculine who, um, wants their empress is what I'm feeling like. Yeah, they want to, they want to change things around, man. You could be dealing with the Taurus and Aries. They want to commit. This person wants to turn their life around. They want to commit. They don't want to be with anyone else anymore. They don't want to be a player anymore. They don't want to share you with anybody either. They want their wish fulfillment. I feel like, yeah, um, this masculine, they don't, they don't want to, they don't want to fool around anymore. They want something solid. And they see themselves being able to build that with you. Okay? But they're separated. It's almost like you're separated from this person right now because they're getting their karma. You've got karma and justice right between you, okay? Um, yeah, man. They see you as the golden ticket here, this wheel of fortune. They see you as a fortune, as a, um, a prize, as like the treasure out here and they know they could have they know that you're their destiny at this point this person realizes it my hands itching so yes that's that's correct okay <laughs> yeah you're the one for them you're the one that they should be with and this person wants to commit with you or commit to you okay you could have already been committed to this person before and they could have left you for this Queen of Wands energy, man, they're regretting that now. Holy cow, they're regretting that now. Because you would have given them a happy, wealthy, rich, emotionally fulfilled, beautiful life. But they chose a Queen of Wands now that's stalking them, that won't leave them alone. They invested in the wrong thing here. 
and they missed out on a blessing in love and they know it. They're feeling like a complete fool and I feel like this person is coming towards you here for a new beginning. I cannot make it up. I cannot make it up. They may have to travel to get to you. This person may live a distance from you. They're going to have to put up a big fight in order to, to come towards you here. Yeah, because this Queen of Wands isn't isn't about to let him ghost her and she doesn't she's not she doesn't want to let go of this person. She's stalking them, okay? Yeah, that's the truth. This person's going to do everything they can to come back in for an offer because they can't stop thinking about you. They're in love with you. All right, Aries? Yeah, man. You could be dealing with a um, another Aries, a Virgo, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person's in love with you, Aries. Okay? So, yeah, they're trying very hard to leave this Queen of Wands behind. This person's coming forward. Um, they're going to come in with an offer. It is moving very slowly because they've been with this Queen of, Sor or Queen of Wands energy. But they're coming in with an apology, communication. You could get that very suddenly, out of the blue. They're in a lot of regret. This is somebody who wants to settle down now with you. They want to commit to you, Aries. If you're just out here, happy, single. I hid who I really am from you. I feel you even though we are apart. We will be together again. Yeah, this is somebody who is kind of, they get their determination, okay? They kind of morph into an emperor, um, knowing what they want. I should have believed in you. You always had my best interests at heart. What does this person want to say to Aries? I will wait for a sign from you. Yeah, they may have been waiting for a sign. I feel like if you've gotten in for, like, if this person tried to text you, you could have even said, I'm really busy right now. I can't talk right now. You're just happy being by yourself. Okay, so maybe they did try to message you and you maybe didn't pay any attention to it or something. Um, and they may still be waiting for a sign for, how, you know, when they can approach, right? But, um, yeah, I feel like this person is, uh, they're going to be on their way to you regardless, whether you give them a sign or not. It hurts to see online that you've moved on with your life. What did I say about this, right? They can see it. Something that you posted. You could be on a vacation or celebrating or just putting yourself out here, maybe dating. Can you let go of the past and forgive me? Can you trust me again with your heart? I couldn't handle your words when you were upset with me. It was too painful. You could have said something to this person, you know, but it was the truth. Uh, the distance between us is killing me. I long to hear your beautiful voice again. My heart keeps coming back to you, even though I know you've lost faith in me. I'm feeling lost, and I don't know what to do about it. They just want you. I want you. That that's it. They just want you collective. Okay? So yeah, this this is somebody who's like turning into an emperor, realizing what they want, wanting to commit, yeah, at least be loyal to you, right? Um they don't want to be a player anymore. They don't want to play around with this Queen of Wands anymore. They're trying to break free. And then this person's going to be coming towards you to communicate and apologize. So get ready, Aries, because it's about to happen. Okay? Anyway, Aries, that's what I've got for this quick check-in. I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you dig this vibe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.